Taurus. Welcome to your June 15th through the 31st of 2018 tarot reading. My name's Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. In the description box below, I have a link to my website where you can purchase private readings. I do offer pre-recorded readings which are cheaper if you go under shop now on my website or you can go to book now and you can book a live Skype call with me which does cost a little bit more but it's live two-way conversation through Skype. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so let's get into our reading today. Um, we're going to start with the energy oracle and I'm pull, pulling one card for the central theme of Taurus's reading today. What is the central theme of Taurus's reading today? So I have the fifth chakra. So this is your throat chakra. This is all about communicating your truth. And it looks like you're having some issues with your fifth chakra, with communicating your truth, with communication in general. There's communication issues here uh, with the Archangel Gabriel. So we're having some communication issues currently. Um, we're going to do a spread today. It's kind of like a Romney spread, only it's a little different. Now, I put two decks together, so if we get the same card twice, that gives it extra significance. I think it just gives a more accurate reading because I do read reversals. So for every card, there's upright and reverse, and then I have two of every card in this deck. Um, so it just gives a more accurate reading, I feel. Uh, so let's get started. The first is I need three cards for Taurus's state of mind. What is Taurus's state of mind from the 15th through the 31st of June 2018? Three cards for Taurus's state of mind, the 15th through the 21st, 31st of June 2018. Ooh, boy. Oh, three exactly. Awesome. This is cool. That sucks. Okay. So, <clears throat> the first card, I have the Ten of Swords, and it's in the reverse. So, when the Ten of Swords reverses, Tens are about completion. Uh, this is about a release from pain. A new beginnings there's a light at the end of the tunnel I'm gonna put this back up there because it's been diffusing the light um, I have had that up there for the light right. and then I have the devil so this is a major life event this is toxicity uh, this is addictions this is abuse this could be a Capricorn individual now the ten of swords is Gemini specifically. We've been getting a lot with Gemini and Taurus, and I don't know what that's all about, but uh, hopefully you guys know. Um, but yeah, this is Capricorn. So Gemini is air energy. That's the winds of change. So you're coming out of pain. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, and you've learned your painful lessons. That's your state of mind. And then I have toxicity, I have abuse, I have materialism, I have false promises, I have anger, I have jealousy, blocked or, tra blocked or tra trapped emotions, blaming others, not taking responsibility. There's, there's lust here, there's obsession, there's guilt. This is earth energy. Capricorn is earth energy. So that mirrors your own energy. And then we have the two of swords. So as you can see, she's wearing a blindfold. Um, the two of swords are difficult choices, painful decisions, um, refusing to take sides, being in denial, turning a blind eye. To things. Um, that's the card of Libra. So again, we have this air energy with a Gemini beginning it. We have 
um, the Two of Swords, which is Libra, ending it. And then we have the Devil, which is Earth energy, which mirrors your energy because you're an Earth sign, Taurus. And that's right smack dab in the middle. Earth and air don't get along. There's, there's contradict each other. Um, so there's a lot of conflict right now with your how you view yourself and your current state of mind. There's a lot of conflict. On one hand, you're releasing pain. You, there's new beginnings. On the other hand, there's toxicity, there's abuse, there's anger, there's jealousy, there's guilt, there's obsession, there's externalizing your power, there's giving your internal power away. And then we have the Two of Swords where there's difficult choices and painful lessons and being in denial. Um, so air energy, Libra is I balance, Gemini is I think, and Capricorn is I achieve. So this is I think, I achieve, and I balance. That's what the message here is saying. And with air energy, it's all about action, motion ideas, communication, socialization, it's always moving. Think about air, it's always moving in and out, through and everywhere. It's friendly, it's outgoing, it's uh, superficial at times, it's um, frigid, chill, uh, hard to read, you can't read air. It's detached, it's fun. It's spontaneous. It's um, analytical. It's open-minded. It's a free spirit. And it's uncontrollable. Whereas Earth energy is very practical, grounded, dependable. It doesn't take risks. It's um, responsible, reliable. People count on Earth energy. People count on you, Taurus. It's uh, sensual, slow and steady. It's loyal. It's hardworking. It puts plans into actions. It's habit. It's routine. It's determined. It's supportive, caring, and it hates change. So Earth hates change, and air is all about change. So your current state of mind is all about change, but then there's you in the middle who hates change. <laughs> so there's change here, but you just hate change. So that's pissing you off. And you're having issues with communication, and air is all about communication. That, uh, that's the sign of communication. So you're having issues with communication, and you're getting all this air in your state of mind. So I need three cards that will help Taurus with their self-improvement and um, spiritual development and health. Self-improvement, spiritual development, and health. Three cards for Taurus, please. Gave me four. All right, the first is two of pentacles in reverse. We're in your energy again. We're in this earth energy. So staying yourself, staying practical, staying grounded, staying steady, that's going to help with your self-improvement, health, and spiritual development. Um, but we have the two of pentacles, and it's in the reverse. So there's a lot of disorganization here. Um, this, again, is Capricorn energy. We're getting this Capricorn energy. So this is, um, in the reverse, it's like a social climber. Um, it's uh, rejecting, callous reserved, insecure, mean, being mean. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn again. So we have three Capricorns here. So you may actually be dealing with a Capricorn or you're just more in that Capricorn energy right now than you are in your own energy, which is still an Earth energy, but um, there's more of this Capricorn energy going on around. So the Queen is all about prosperity, success, wealth, luxury, material security. This is overindulgence. Um, she's the housekeeper. Um, 
money's coming in, finances are improving, uh, being true to your word, your pets mean a lot to you, You're spending more time at home, she's very successful, um, she's very organized, she's a great cook, she's an excellent cook, she's a natural mother, she's very loving, loyal, supportive, she needs security, she hates change. Then we have the King of Wands. So this isn't actually as like contradicting as the others, um, but the King of Wands, it's like a neutral energy. It doesn't really get along, but doesn't really not get along with Earth energy. This is fire energy. This is ambition. This is aggression. This is having a volcano temper. Um, one minute you're, you're calm and then all of a sudden you erupt in this flaming fury, but you're over it just as fast as it came. And other people are like, oh my God, you just like poured lava all over our village. And you're like, well, I, I'm over it, <laughs> you know, um, but they're still like traumatized by this volcanic temperament that you have. Um, the King of Wands is a natural born leader. He is an entrepreneur. He's powerful. He's dynamic. He's dependable. He's energetic. He's a go-getter. He takes control of his life. And that's Sagittarius energy. Being blunt. Not worrying about who you hurt with your speech. You just say whatever's on your mind. And then we have the chariot in reverse. So the chariot, when the chariot reverses, there is a loss of control. Uh, this is a major life event. This is the card of cancer. And fire and water do not mix. Fire boils water and water puts out fire. So they're elementally, they're undignified. And it's right beside the King of Wands, which is fire. So we have fire and water together. So there is some conflict here in your self-improvement and your health and um, it, there's a loss of control there's a lack of self-discipline here there's a loss of direction there's giving up there's um, overreactions being overwhelmed there's temper issues and relationships being stuck in a rut um, so getting out of that recognizing that that's going on internally is going to help you to improve I need three cards for Taurus's family and home life. Three cards for Taurus's family and home life, please. Three cards for Taurus's family and home life, please. Three cards for Taurus's family and home life. Okay, so the first card we have is the Three of Wands, the Hanged Man, the Two of Wands. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Okay, so we again have that fire and water mix, uh, which is elementally undignified. All right, so the first card we have the three of wands, and it's in the reverse. So there's releasing pain here, forgiveness, moving on, um, a lack of foresight obstacles to long-term goals. This is the card of Aries. So Aries is very self-assertive. It's I am me. He's a self-starter. He takes initiative. He's very dominant and direct. And then we have the hanged man. So this is the card of Pisces. This is a major arcana card. And this is the perspective. This is surrendering. Life is on hold. No matter what we do, it doesn't work out. Surrendering to the situation, meditation, getting a different perspective, seeing things in a different light, 
volunteering, uh, withdrawing, developing yourself. Pisces is I believe. It's very sensitive. Daydreamer, escaping by fantasy, withdrawing, isolating, being sentimental. And then we have the Two of Wands. So the Two of Wands are decisions about movement, decisions about a course of action. Should I stay? Should I go? There's a need for excitement. Something's holding you back here. Um, being bored and disconnect, discontent. Again, this is Aries energy. So we have Pisces and Aries here together. Pisces end the year. They end the zodiac. Aries begin the year. They begin the zodiac. Aries are immature. They're the new souls. And Pisces are the old souls. They're the more mature. So you have Pisces, the old soul, in between two Aries, which are new souls. Um, so that's what's going on in your family and home life. What's going on in Taurus's romantic and social life? What's going on in Taurus's romantic and social life? I need three cards for Taurus's romantic and social life, please. Three cards for Taurus's romantic and social life, please. Three cards for Taurus's romantic and social life, please. Three cards for Taurus, it's romantic and social life, please. Ooh, it's not one to talk to right here. Okay, so I have the Page of Cups, the Three of Cups, and one more. One more. Right, and the Eight of Wands. So again, we have some conflict. We have two water energies, and then we have one fire energy. So the first we're going to go with the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is a very immature, emotional energy. It's a student. It's a messenger's inner child. It's being young at heart, idealistic, innocent, pure, um, likes to dress up. So this is someone who likes to dress up, look really good. Um, developing their psychic self um good news is on its way there's a gut feeling that you may have you need to follow it um could be a child we could be talking about a child here someone who's very soft and sensitive and gentle and uh, likes to play make-believe a lot um Constantly asks you if everything's okay. Very artistic and creative. So it could just be a child that we're talking about here in your romantic and social life. And then we have the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups is about celebrations, parties, friends, community, um, emotional growth is here. So the Page of Cups is just any water energy, any emotional, intuitive, psychic energy, any cut Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Three of Cups is specifically a Cancer individual. And then we have the Eight of Wands, and it's in the reverse. So this is fire energy. The Eight of Wands is Sagittarius energy, and there's delays, there's frustration, there's holding off on things. Um, there's a lot of like being talkative, being tactile being quick tempered uh, the explosive temper is here again um, almost being a bully practical practical joker being overly sarcastic and quick tempered and uh, frank and blunt and not worrying about whose feelings you hurt so there's definitely some conflict here in your romantic and social life It, it, it looks like your family home in your romantic and social life is all fire and water. <laughs> so there's a lot of conflict here. Um, in one instance, there's energy, there's spontaneity, there's 
um, recklessness. There's a lot of temperament, temper tantrums, uh, a lot of, uh, like, I would go so far as to say almost verbal abuse with the devil being there and all of this air energy. I'm seeing verbal abuse, a lot of verbal abuse. I'm not seeing physical abuse because I'm not seeing the emperor reversed. I do, we do have the king of wands, but he's in the upright. He's not in the reverse. I'm not going to say physical. I'm saying definitely some verbal abuse here. And there's a lot of emotions involved uh, ultra sensitive it's mysterious as the sea itself it's um self-indulgent um sacrificial dramatic there's a lot of drama here and moody drama and moody and manipulation definitely manipulation here there's definitely manipulation here. All right, what is going on with Taurus's money? What's going on with Taurus's money? Um, June 15th through the 31st. What's going on with Taurus's money? Three cards for Taurus's money. Okay, so this one wants to come out. So we have the Emperor here. This is awesome. <laughs> so he's financial security at its best. He is the emperor. He is the ruler of a nation. He is the strong provider, the father figure of the household. He's very strong and he's the ruler. So financially, amazing. Amazing. What else is going on with uh, Taurus's money June 15th through the 31st? And that's the card of Aries again. So we have Aries again. We have that fire energy coming back. Um, and Aries is very independent, very headstrong. He can be very impatient. He can be very aggressive. Um, he has a hot temper. And he likes to get things done. He likes to get her done. <laughs> he likes to get her done. So what else is going on? with Taurus's money. What else is going on with Taurus's money? Two cards for Taurus's money. Alright, so I have the King of Wands, and the King of Wands mirrors the Emperor, but he's a little bit less than the Emperor, but he still mirrors the Emperor. He still means the same thing. He's a natural born leader. He's an entrepreneur. He's powerful, dynamic. He's energetic. He takes control of his life. He's really good ideas. He's, um, he has no regrets. If he had his life to do over again, he'd do it exactly the same. Life is boring without taking risks, and he's a risk taker. Um, he's Aries again, so we have Aries, Aries. He can also be Sagittarius, but I'm going to go ahead and call him Aries. So we have a double Aries here, which is amazing for money. One more card for Taurus's money, please. One more card for Taurus's money and finances. And then I have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So this is being rigid, cold, inhumane, almost criminal. Almost criminal in your behavior in terms of money. And this is the card of Gemini. And uh, Gemini and uh, Aries are the perfect couple. And Gemini is very, um, has his finger in many pies, jack of all trades, and emotional. And then because it's in the reverse, I'm pulling out Gemini's traits that are. Uh, that are negative. Gemini has keen perceptions, very adaptable, aloof, doesn't get their emotions involved in their money. So work 
career and life purpose for Taurus. Three cards for work, career, and life purpose. So I have death reversed. This is the card of Scorpio. And this is a refusal to accept change within your workplace or career or life purpose. This is uh, stagnation, being stuck in the past. Change is being feared. You're resisting change. You're afraid of tomorrow. Um, someone from the past could have resurfaced. Or you're just coming out of mourning here with the uh, death reverse. And again, this is Scorpio energy. So this is I desire. Uh, this is a time period between October 23rd and November the 21st. It's a... Uh, a very traumatic inner energy it's it's uh, an investigator researcher secretive suspicious skeptical judgmental possessive powerful energy Scorpios are actually the richest of all of the signs so if you look up which sign is the richest out of all of them Scorpio is number one Aries is number two the cool thing is we have a lot of Aries energy here, and Aries is ruled by Mars, which is the god of war. Scorpio is also ruled by Mars, which is the god of war. Aries brings that fire element to Mars, and Scorpio brings the water element to Mars. And water is all about emotions and intuition, and uh, fire is all about ambition and aggression. So your work, you're bringing more of that emotional element, but you're still like on a war path, <laughs> and you're you're dead set on succeeding. Uh, two more cards for Taurus's work, career, and life purpose, please. Two more cards for Taurus's work, career. Okay, so I have the lovers. Uh, so the lovers is Gemini energy again. So the winds of change are coming back. Um, the lovers are about falling in love, learning how to decide, making decisions, examining both sides, quality of communication. Um, is it safe to move forward? And it can actually mean that somebody in your workplace is actually interested in you as a sexual partner. And it could be a Gemini. <laughs> I'm a Pisces sun with a Gemini moon. But moving on. <laughs> moving on. Um, so one more card for Tauruses. Okay. So I have the Queen of Wands in reverse. So the Queen of Wands in reverse would be um, ineffective, a poor role model, um, a tyrant, a bully, a dictator, very arrogant, um, self-centered, unfriendly, has low self-esteem, lacks energy, is jealous, nasty, manipulative and spiteful so don't be her <laughs> don't be her but that is coming up in your work career and life purpose um so that so i have communication here twice with emotions in between so and then i have fire on the ends which is ambition and aggression. But there's emotion right here, center in, in the present moment. Right, so what is the outcome for Taurus? What is the outcome for Taurus? Give me three cards for the outcome for Taurus. All right, so I have some sneaky betray, some sneaky behavior. Again, we have this air energy coming back. And with the seven, it's Aquarius energy. So this is a very cold, unemotional, rebellious energy. And this is betrayal, deceit, lies, theft. Be careful who you trust in mind games. Um, don't be af don't be afraid of that. Just recognize that it's there. And that's why you get a tarot reading. Because if you didn't know, you wouldn't know what to look for. You wouldn't even be looking for it. So be careful of that. And again, that's Aquarius energy. Um, 
we have the four of swords so we are getting more of this communication energy and that goes back to our central theme which is about the fifth chakra um the chakra of communication so that it makes sense that we're getting all of this communicative energy here but the four of swords is about mental overload needing a retreat um there could be an enforced period of rest, so you may be forced to take a break. Um, finding it hard to cope. Um, feeling like you're going through a mental breakdown. There's lethargy here. And this is Libra energy, so this is a very diplomatic, fair, peaceful energy. It's very balanced, um, very thoughtful, very tactful. Um, there's an appreciation of arts and finer things here. But again, we're still getting that winds of change. We're still getting that communication, that action, that movement, that air that just flows throughout that free spirited energy in the outcome. Okay, one more card. One more card for the outcome. All right, and then I have the hanged man, and we got that twice, and this time it's in the reverse. So this is a Pisces, so we have Gemini, Libra, Pisces. So this is Pisces again, and this is being obsessed, being absorbed, hanging on, won't let go, hidden motives and greedy. So just be aware of that. That's in the outcome, and that's what's going on. So be aware that that's what's going on with you, Taurus. Right. Are there any other messages for Taurus? Any other messages for Taurus? Just flew out, didn't it? All right, a man holding a coin. So this could be a boss, someone who who pays you, or this could be you um, being very financially well off. Any other messages for Taurus? Right. There's a lack of abundance here. There's a lack of change. There's a lot. There's a stagnation. Cornucopia in the reverse. There. There's a refusal to change. Any other? And uh, if you refuse to change, it closes the door to personal value. Look at all that money coming through the door. See all that money coming through the door in the reverse. So if you don't change, you lose your money. You have to change in order to be financially successful. I do see that you are currently very financially successful, but you can lose that fast, especially with this uh, Knight of Swords here, because he's all about conquest, but he's a very fast moving, and he's heading towards death. So be careful and be very open to change. Change is actually a good thing. Well, Taurus, thank you so much for joining me today. Please consider subscribing. I do offer bi-monthly Zodiac Tarot readings, and I also offer meditation videos. And um, I would love to have you as a subscriber. If you'd like to comment and let me know how this reading went, um, if it resonated with you, I would love to hear your feedback. Um, also, I do have my new website in the description box below if you'd like a private reading. I do offer those. Um, if you click on Shop Now, those are pre-recorded readings that I put onto YouTube unlisted, so you can only view them if you have the direct link. And they are cheaper. Um, I usually get those done within 40 hours of the order and then as long as I can if I get more busy it just it really depends and then I have book now where you can book me for a live Skype call which is really exciting so uh, thank you for your time Taurus have a wonderful day